Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video we are looking at the character, the little character, and we're going to complete this card called Create Harmony. So enough chat from me, come with me and let me show you how it's done. Ah, oh, a colourful character. Let's see how we make that happen. Okay, so these are the stamps that we printed up yesterday. Um, we have Gus and we have Topper with the hair ears. And I've just got some Dinkles uh, with the yellow and some metallic bronze mica minerals added into it. Give it a good shake before you start painting and you'll get a nice mix in there. So I'm doing the eyebrows and I'm doing his tummy. And you can probably catch a bit of the sheen coming through as I'm painting it. Okay, so I have gone yellow all the way around the topper and I'm doing yellow on the eyes, eyebrows and tummy. And then we go to our sea blue, Dinkle Sea Blue, and those are for the stripes on the hat and for the brim. And for the, look at the colour on that. Oh, it's just delicious. I love the way you start off with one layer and as you gradually layer it up, it just comes alive. And watercolours are so light and gentle and using dinkles like that, the palette's just stunning. Right, multifarious card. Versifying Claire Nocturne and you're going to be asking, Emma Jo, why are you doing that? Well, I'm just stamping Gus's head. As you do. Because... I'm after his eyebrows. Because once I put that hat on him, the eyebrows will disappear and I think they're very important. As far as eyebrows go, they are incredibly impressive. So <laughs> I'm just gonna cut them out and color them in with a yellow Posca pen. Look at that, stunning. And then we might even, yes, we are adding a little bit of glittery yellow, glittery orange Posca, just to the ends. And add a little bit of that orange again to the tummy, just the outside edge of it. Sorry, the plumage on the stomach area. And I've got Dinkle's Pink, I'm just popping some on my craft mat. And using that, and look how when it goes into the Dinkle Sea Blue, it changes into this lovely purple. Oh, just beautiful. So if you use it for your shading, you automatically get this lovely purple bits to the plumage on the wings. Stunner. Okay, so go around the outside with that as well. And we need to put some pink in. Oh, so we're going with yellow. Yellow on the hat band. drying this off using my heat tool. Fabulous. And just cutting round the shape with your paper scissors. Now I have sped this up because I didn't want to bore you with how long I take to cut things out. And you can see what he's going to look like now. Now, don't be frightened by me cutting this out as I cut his legs off. Um, <laughs> and I'm not paying much attention to all the extra twiddly bits to the feathers, but don't panic, they will still be there. As if by magic. And I've cut his ears off, but don't worry, don't worry. It will all make sense. So with a bit of bippity bobbly glue, pop his hat on. There we go. Try and line it up so that it actually looks like it's sitting on his head rather than hovering above or sitting over to one side. Now, grab the eyebrows and pop them over the top. Now you can line them up with the existing eyebrows. There we go. Look at that. Nice wee. Anyway, adding character to the card. 
No, the card has character, doesn't it? Well, yes, it will in a minute. Here we go, deciding where, what angle he's going to go on. And I'm drawing a line. Now, I'm inking up my Gus stamp with, with um, Versafine Claire Nocturne and lining him up with that yellow mark. So I know more or less where I wanted him to go and I'm stamping it directly onto the background. And this will give us the feet back that I had cut off. It will also give us all those extra edges to the feathers, the little bits that I couldn't cut out because I'm afraid I'm not good at fussy cutting. Okay. So you see, once I put this back on with a bit of bibbity bobbity glue, the magic will be complete. Well, up to a point. If I use my finger, you see, I can make sure that I've got every bit covered. There you go, just line it up and it will all make sense. Fab. Cut the excess off with your super sharp paper scissors. Oh, look at that. Coming together, isn't it? So we're going to add some Posca pen bits to it. And so that's my coral, coral Posca pen. And I'm just adding a little bit around his plumage on his stomach area. Um, little white Posca on his, on the bits where his feet are and the white highlights on the eyes. And I'm adding a few dots down the center, just above his beak. The eyelets I'm doing in white Posca as well. And then the yellow, I'm highlighting that with a yellow Posca pen. And the other stripes either side of the sea blue dinkles I've done in yellow. And then that center bit is the glittery pink Posca pen, which I'm also including and smudging in his hair ears. Adding a few little bits of pink as well around his face. Yellow Posca pen just at the top. You're just adding extra bits, highlights, to the feathers. So if you put white on the edge of those feathers, any colour you add once you've let it dry is then purer and doesn't get sucked in to change colour with whatever is underneath. So that's why I've done that. It then allows me to colour the tips yellow and for it to be seen as yellow and not green. What am I doing now? Ah, little bit of yellow dinkles just on either side of the pink bit of the ears. White Posca pen for highlights on the feathers, on the eyebrows even, the feathered eyebrows. Oh, look at him. So this is one of the glittery, sparkly Posca pens. I think it's the darker of the two colours, two blues. And I'm just using it at the top and bottom of that blue stripe and smudging it and also using it on the hat band. A little bit of red just to highlight that pink centre of the hat. Now with Elements Ink Truffle I'm just going to give Gus a place to stand because there's nothing worse than a floating owl that isn't using his wings. So we're grounding him, giving him a bit of shadow. And if you can imagine, when he is leaning over, he was casting a shadow that way. So that's why it's quite long. Add some text. So I've got multifarious card. The balance stamp set has a lovely stamp called Create. And I'm using it with Versafine Claire Nocturne. And I've got the Harmony stamp as well. So. Once you've stamped them and you're happy, 
cut them out and put you put them where you want them to go so first of all though we're going to use the brilliance dewdrop inks Gal galaxy gold round the edges lovely You're literally just tapping that around the edge. So it's quite straight on to the paper and you're just tapping it around the edge. And that gives you a very subtle golden frame to your words. So add some bibbly bobbly glue and stick it where you want it to go. Now you can see I'm recycling my card. I've already used the back and wasn't happy with it, so <coughs> use the other side for my words. Little bit of truffle with uh, Elements Ink Truffle with some water and pop that underneath to make your words look like they're meant to be there. And what have we got now? The finishing touches. Hurrah! So this is Elements Ink Mermaid. I love this colour. Stencil, <laughs> st sorry, stencil brush size 9. And I'm just going to my usual favourite, the corners, and a little bit along the edges to just frame the piece and tap with a little bit of white Posca. And size 9 stencil brush. And anywhere you think needs a little bit more white then make those dots your own and add larger ones and there my friends you've done it well done well well done well i don't know about you but i have thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this because it's got sticking which i love anything that gets my fingers feeling tacky i love to be that involved with the creative process it's just slightly nuts. It's just me. Anyway, so fabulous fun. Sticking, Locta, Dinkles. What else have we got? We've got these brand new stunning stamps. That is just gorgeous. And I'm loving the top hat with the ears too. But these stamps that say create and harmony. Love that idea that we create harmony wherever we go. And that should be something we strive to do. Anyway, enough chat from me. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, if you've got any comments you'd like to leave regarding this craft, please do pop them in the post below and I will do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as I possibly can. But you know, in the meantime, you have great fun crafting and I'll see you again soon. Take care. <laughs>